What's up guys, Dead Men Walking here, coming at you from Gatlinburg, Tennessee. It's a beautiful day, but it's scorching hot. Me and Big Walt's about to get our sky lift on. You ready, Walt? Yep. Let's do it. See what, how it looks now after the fire. This, this attraction was hit hard, guys. It was down for almost a complete year. How are you guys doing? Good. Step under the footprints, guys. Gatlinburg Inn over here to our right, guys, like I was telling you yesterday. Right up here in one of these rooms right here is where the famous song Rocky Top was written. If you guys ever swing in there, I've heard they'll let you see the room. All you got to do is ask. They've got a lot of plaques and pictures and I think some original sheet music and stuff like that. Um, stop in there and check it out, guys. Over here is Christ in the Smokies. It's a great wax museum friendly tourists there. It's a great wax museum in there. It's all about the, uh, basically Christ. Thus the name Christ in the Smokies. And we are getting pretty high right now. As we go up here, I'll try to show you guys some of the fire damage that's still here. Like I said, this place was hit hard. It's uh, suffered cable damage, structure damage, I mean, it was just one of the, one of the hardest hit attractions, and they were closed for about a year. And um, basically, had to go through a full refurbishment. Had to replace pretty much everything except these orange poles right here. You see. So if you guys are in town, make sure to come up here and support them. Ride up. They've been through a lot, and they could use the uh, support. Pigeon River down there. About to start our incline up, guys. If you look over here to the left, you can still see some of the burnt trees that still haven't grown back. May never will, I'm not sure. Um, might be one of those things they just have to cut down or maybe they'll grow back. A lot of them over here as well. Some of the old chairs down there. Those are burnt. Some of those down there are burnt. You can actually see them. Maybe we'll get lucky on the way up here and see one of Walt's cousins, the uh, Smoky Mountain Black Bear. <laughs> Most of the people here are afraid of the bears. The bears are afraid of Walt. There's some burnt trees down there and over there. This entire mountainside was on fire. Yes. The it stopped mountain. literally. It's crazy. It stopped about four or five feet behind Christ and the Smokies. So, I mean, literally, it was just amazing that it, it got that close and stopped. And all this was major brushland right here. So, it's a miracle that Christ and the Smokies even survived the fire. Going up, there's not a whole lot to see. The real view's on the way down. It's actually it used to be one of my favorite views in the Smokies. Now it's uh, probably a very close second to Anakista, third being the Space Needle. 
all kind of fire damage. I rode this up like 38 years ago with my dad. I think there's still a picture somewhere around of me and him riding this up. That's where the old tower was. Yeah, right there is one of the old towers was that they had to replace. There's another one coming up right up here. The towers took so much structure damage they actually had to replace some of those as well. You see that little square concrete block right there? That was one of the old towers. What was you saying, Walter? They replaced all the towers. Did they? All new concrete footers and everything were put in. Well, I stand corrected. When I stop filming this, I'll slap Walter for doing that. <laughs> I don't want any evidence on here. I was actually working the day the fire happened down in uh, downtown Gatlinburg, close to it. And we left around six that night. And by that time, pretty much everything was engulfed with flames. The entire spur, both sides was on fire. We literally drove out of Gatlinburg while it was on fire. It looked like it was snowing, but it was actually ash falling. Big wall here, I believe, was up in over Gatlinburg doing a delivery and everything was fine there. But by the time he started to come back down, he realized uh, he needed to get out of Dodge as well. So it was starting to get really bad. Sun peeking through the trees over there. Well, uh, I mean, how bad this is but man, it's bounced back so much compared to what it was. This is one of those attractions they wasn't sure they would ever be back. And if I'm not mistaken, it's one of the oldest attractions still in Gatlinburg that's an original attraction. I'll have to figure out what year this was built. Over there's that mansion in the sky that I was showing you guys yesterday from the Space Needle. That mansion's gonna have one amazing view and one amazing price tag. We'll see how much they've got built back up here so we can get an update on that because all their structures at the top were completely burnt down. I don't even think they allow you to get off anymore. I think you just make a loop now. But hopefully later this year or early next year, you'll be able to get off up here and enjoy the amazing view of downtown Gatlinburg again and support your shops. That they are. <laughs> Young lady was stating the obvious. Those are mountains indeed. Nothing gets by anybody up here. Walt's trying to conceal a laughter right now. Don't hold it in, Walt. Let it out. Let it out. I hope that lady's not waiting at the bottom to uh, open a can of whoop ass on me. Smells like fresh wood up here. I love that smell. They've redone all the concrete up here. It's gonna be very pretty up here when they're done. I look forward to seeing it done. And now for the amazing views. Look at that. Watch your big head, Walt. Everyone wants to see your mountainous head. They want to see the real mountains. Some storm clouds over Gatlinburg is beautiful. I 
That's not me shaking today. That's the seat shaking, and I'm not digging it too much. Walt, you may have to hold my hand in a minute if I get nervous. He's got all excited now. Just hold the rail. You'll be all right. <clears throat> You look over there, that's one of our more popular zip lining areas over there. Uh, I don't know the name of I it. I can't you remember the this. name of it now. Um, I don't even know where he's really pointing. I'm just pointing it in general see direction. See over there where the yellow thing is in the trees over there? Yeah, actually I do now. Now that you uh, wasted... Gatlinburg Adventures, I think, is what it is. Now that you wasted 30 seconds of my video. <laughs> Thank you, Walter, for that amazing input. What's up? I don't know if they can see it on the video, but all those brown spots across the mountain range there, that's all fire damage. It's just an amazing view from up here. Well, you got anything you want to add to the video, brother? No, nope, just enjoying the view. Couldn't have said it better myself. Actually, I think I've already said it about six times. I don't know what I'd do without my color man over here. Between the both of us, we got a brain. And right down over there, those orange pipes that you see down there, that's Gatlin's. That's their new uh, ropes course that they have. Right there. Over here, this is going to be the new Ripley's building. All through here. It's, uh, I don't know if you can see it very well from up here, but they're still doing a lot of construction on that. We have come to a stop and rocking back and forth. Wonderful. And over there, all those concrete pads, that was once a big hotel, a very popular hotel, and it, the whole hotel was burnt to the ground. Was that Edgewater? Uh, I thought it was River House Inn or something like that. I can't remember. Yeah, but ain't um, nothing now. But like he was saying, Christ in the Smokies, the fire burnt right down there. to the building and didn't burn it up it's literally right next to that lot over there where uh, the fire burned away that hotel big convention center over there I might as well try to show you guys a few things while we're stuck here uh, space needle that we went up on yesterday you can check out that video below What's that big hotel back there, that, that round Vista. one? Vista. That's the hotel that they were doing all the filming from that night, correct? Yes, during the fire. The fire burnt right up to the hotel. Well, people still inside. Man, the mountains are just beautiful this time of year. All green and just full of life. I think that was one scared young lady right there. <laughs> she ain't got no choice but to ride it out now. Only one way on and one way off. How much does it actually cost to ride this, Walter? I don't know. We're gonna have to check on prices for you guys. We gotta start telling you guys prices. I've, I've neglected to do that. So from here on out, before we do a video as we're doing it, 
I will uh, either take a picture, a video of the uh, prices, or I'll let you guys know. I believe this is about $15 to do, somewhere around $14 or $15. And I think you can buy like an all-day pass maybe for $19.99. I know it's only 5 or $6 more. That outhouse over there, that's a very famous outhouse, uh, Porta Potty. Walter actually uh, used that and uh, filled it up in one use. World record. Here comes that. Some of the burn up cables that they took off the that old That is one. right over there. That is some of the cables that they took down all burn up. And here's another shot of those chairs over there that will burn up. Pigeon River there, guys. Same river right up here, just up a little piece where the little girl's seen crying where she fell. No little girl today. But we'll keep looking. Good view of the Space Needle there. And this ride's coming to an end, guys. About a 20 minute, well, about a 15 minute trip up and down, not too bad. Especially all the walking you do up here if you just wanna take a break and kinda of enjoy some beautiful scenery. Just hop on here, rest your legs, and uh, see beautiful downtown Gatlinburg. Right over there is Sugarland. We're gonna bounce off in there one day and let Walter get his drink on again. Seriously guys, let him know in the comments below that he needs AA. Save him. He needs it. His liver is begging him to stop drinking. If I didn't love you, Walt, I wouldn't pick on you. And we're coming to an end, guys. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, comment below. Let us know what you want to see, and we'll go film it. And as always, you keep watching, we'll keep walking. <laughs>